on a height he stood that looked towards greater heights. Our earlier portrait to the infinite are sunrise splendors on a marvelous world, while lingers yet unseen the glorious sun. What now we see is a shadow of what must come. A shapeless memory lingers in us still. And sometimes, when our sight is turned within, Earth's ignorant veil is lifted from our eyes. There is a short, miraculous escape. Our souls can visit in great lonely hours, still regions of imperishable light, all-seeing eagle peaks of silent power, and moon flame oceans of swift Fasomless bliss and calm immensities of spirit space.
long past of years serpentine in the cold blackness of her nation the earth goddess toils across the sands of time. A being is in her whom she hopes to know. A word speaks to her heart she cannot hear. A fate compels whose form she cannot see. In her unconscious orbit through the void, out of her mindless depths she strives to rise a perilous life again, a struggling joy. Ignorant and wary and invincible. She seeks through the soul's war and quivering pain the pure perfection her mad nature needs. A breast of Godhead on her stone and mark. A light grows in her she assumes the voice. Her state, she learns to read, and the act she has done. But the one needed truth eludes her grasp, herself, and all of which. A vision meets her of supernal powers that draw her as if Mind takings and laws. Approaching with a strange, great, luminous gaze, then is she moved to all that she is not and stretches arms to what was never heard. Out 
stretching arms, the Zian concert white. Passionate, she prays the invisible forms of God, soliciting from dumb fate and toiling time what most she needs, what most exceeds her scope, a mind unvisited by illusions gleams, a will expressive of souls dating. A strength not forced to stumble by its speed, a joy that drags not sorrow as its shape. Shall be lit the spirit. 
spirits grow. A few shall see what none yet understand. God shall grow up while the wise men talk and sleep. For man shall not know the coming till its hour, and belief shall be not till the work is done. In the wide, signless ether of the self, in the unchanging silence, white and new, aloof, resplendent like gold dazzling sun, veiled by the ray, no mortal eye can bear. The spirit, free and absolute potency, burn in the solitude of the thoughts of God. An outstretched hand is felt upon our lives. It is near us in unnumbered bodies and births. In its unshaken grasp, it keeps for us safe the one inevitable supreme result. No will can take away and no doom change the crown of conscious immortality. The Godhead promised to our struggling souls when first man's heart dared death and suffered life. In the mystery of the deeps that God has built for his abode below the sinker's sight, in this gold dome on a black dragon base, the conscious force that acts in nature's breast, a dark hold laborer in the cosmic scheme, carrying clay images of unborn gods, absorbs from hour to hour her secret job.
There are two who are one and play in many worlds. In knowledge and ignorance they have spoken and met, and light and darkness are their eyes entertained. Here on the earth, where we must fill our part, we know not how shall run the drama's course. Our adult sentences veil in their thought her mighty plan. She holds back from our sight. She has concealed her glory and her bliss and disguised the love and wisdom in her heart. As one too great for him, he worships her. He adores her as his regent of desire. He yields to her as the mover of his wing. He burns the incense of his nights and days offering his life a splendor of sacrifice. He leans on her for all he does and is. He builds on her largesses, his proud for and trails his peacock plumage joy of life and suns in the glory of her passing smile. Happy in it, he lies beneath her his breast he offers to her cosmic dawn, of which our lives are the quivering theater, and none could bear but for his strength within, yet none would leave because of his delight. His works, his thoughts have been devised by her. His being is a mirror vast of her active, inspired by her. He speaks and moves. His deeds obey her heart's unspoken demand. Consciousness is a wave 
upon her knees. Her endless space is the playground of his soul. Then, in a figure of divinity, the Maker shall recast us and unfold a plan of Godhead on the mortal's mold. 
lifting our finite minds to His infinite. Touching the moment with eternity. Transfiguration is earth's view to heaven, a mutual debt binds man to the supreme. His nature we must put on as he put ours. We are sons of God, and must be even as He. His human portion, we must grow divine. Our life is a paradox with God fixing. For the key is hid, and by the inconstant kept, the secret God beneath the threshold dwells. He is the explorer and the mariner on a secret inner ocean without bound. He is the adventurer and cosmologist of a magic earth's obscure geography. Jewel toys brought for an infant. 
In a tedious, misty, dreamlike dawn, the outline of a dim, mysterious soul. A sailor on the inconstant, fathomless But none learns whither through the unknown, he says, or what secret mission the great mother gave him in the hidden strength of her omnipotent will, driven by her breath across life tossing deep through the thunder hall and through the windless hush through fog and mist where nothing more is seen he carries her sealed orders in his breast. Late will he know opening the mystic script, whether to a blank port in the unseen he goes, or armed with her fiat to discover a new mind and body in the city of God and enshrine the immortal in his glorious house and make the finite one with infinity. A power is on him from her rocket force that ties him to his own creation's fate. And never can the mighty traveler rest, and never can the mystic voyage cease till the nascent dusk is lifted 
for man's soul and the mourns of God have overtaken his night. As long as nature lasts, he too is there. For this is sure that he and she are one. This constant will she covered with her sport to evoke a person in the impersonal voice with the too slight strike earth's massive roots of Wake a dumb self in the inconscient depths and raise a lost power from its fight and sleep that the eyes of the timeless must look out from time and the world manifest the unveiled For this he left his white infinity and led on the spirit the burden of the flesh that Godhead's seed might flower.